I am Anil Kumar, sharing with you a question from my student. We will try to understand the concept of related acute angles with the help of this video. The question here is, use related acute angle to state an equivalent expression. So we have five examples here, sine of 160 degrees, sine of 300 degrees, cosine of 210 degrees, tan of 200 degrees, secant 350 degrees. We need to write them as an equivalent expression using acute angle. So let's first understand what acute angle is. Acute angle, as the name suggests, is any angle which is less than 90 degrees, right? So, so that means that, let me write alpha as the angle, which is less than 90 degrees. So that becomes an acute angle. Right. Acute angle is always positive, so let me write this as greater than 0 but less than 90 degrees. Let me use greater than equal to sine for the time being. Right. So, But it is not more than 90 degrees. That's what we're trying to see. Now, I'll use a strategy to answer such questions. So we'll use two different concepts. One is the rule that these are the four quadrants, right? This is quadrant 1, this is quadrant 2, this is quadrant 3, and that is quadrant 4. Now, all trigonometric ratios are positive in this quadrant. Sine is positive in quadrant 2. Tan is positive in quadrant 3. And cosine is positive in quadrant 4. So you can remember this as all silver T cups or the cast rule, C-A-S-T. C starting from quadrant 4. All right. So that is one thing. Now whenever we say sine 160 degrees, we can figure out where will the terminal arm be. So let's try to sketch this. Sine 160 degrees. So, so if x-axis is our initial arm, 160 is very close to 180. So you can say uh, let me use the color pencil to sketch this. So let's use different colors. Okay. So, so 160 degrees could be could be kind of like this. Slightly less than 180. So let me just make angle like this. So we are saying this is 160 degrees. 160 degrees. Now the question is, what is related acute angle? Now related acute angle is the angle which the terminal arm makes with the horizontal. So the angle here is this one. If terminal arm is making 160 as principal angle, then the related acute angle is 20 degrees. Correct. So that means we have to write this trigonometric ratio sine 160 in terms of 20. So we can write this as equal to sine of 20 degrees. So that is the acute angle. Now the second question is, we have to worry about the sine, whether it is positive or negative. Now sine is positive in quadrant 2, terminal arm is in quadrant 2, so this sine will be positive, right? So that is how we can write sine 160 degrees as sine 20 degrees, correct? So that is how we can write equivalent expressions. Now let's look into the next one, which is which is sine of 300 degrees. Now 300 degrees will be somewhere here, right? 60 less than 360. Let's say let's say this, right? So we are saying this angle here is 300 degrees. Now what is the acute angle? Acute angle is always the angle which terminal arm makes with horizontal. So it is 360 minus 300, which is 60 degrees. And therefore, we'll write this trigonometric ratio as sine of acute angle, which is 60 degrees, right? Now we have to worry about the sine, positive or negative. Here, sine is negative, only cosine is positive. So we'll put negative sine here, do you see that? So sine 300 degrees is negative sine 60 degrees. Do you see how easy it is? So you have to figure Two things. One, what has to be the signs? We have to figure what is the sign. 
and the other one which we're figuring out is the acute angle alpha correct so that is the policy so can you help me do part c which is cos of 210 degrees 210 degrees 210 is more than 180 so let me say this is 210 is it okay so we are saying this angle here is 210 degrees so what is the acute angle it is 180 minus 210 right so it is 30 correct 180 minus 210 so that is the acute angle and therefore we could write this as cos of acute angle 30 degrees however cos is negative in quadrant 3 therefore we'll write negative sign here so this is two-step process simple right let's continue tan 200 degrees so when i say tan 200 degrees that means uh, tan 200 degrees 200 is less than 270 so it's kind of slightly less than 210 so let me make a line terminal arm here is it okay so this we are saying is 200 degrees so let me go like this and this is 200 degrees is it okay so what is the acute angle 80 plus 20 right so this is 20 degrees and therefore i could write this as tan of 20 degrees the related acute angle how about the sign tan is positive so we'll write positive here is that okay correct now i like you to pause the video answer the last one here secant 350 degrees now what is secant you know secant theta is 1 over cos theta so they're kind of similar things right reciprocal of course secant 350 degrees 350 means what 350 means almost a full circle right so let's go like this one full circle almost the end right so it's kind of like this so that is 350 degrees so the acute angle is 10 degrees so now can you write down equivalent expression for secant 350 degrees well it should be secant acute angle of 10 degrees secant is reciprocal of cos positive positive right so we write positive here so that is the way to write equivalent expressions for any trigonometric ratio in terms of acute angle i'm anil kumar and i hope this video helps you to understand that concept very important